Yo, shalom, my people. Squab again. I'm gonna get into um black genocide, birth control, all these type of things, birth control and things, and this stuff is against the Most High, and a lot of people participating in it. They don't really even know that they're doing it because we've been tricked up by trip tripped from this false society that we live in. You know what I mean? So, I woke up this morning, and this is on my mind. You know what I'm saying? This was the first thing that came on my mind. This abortion and, and, and birth control and how so many of our kids have been killed through this thing. And this ain't to make nobody feel bad because we did a post the other day on Facebook, you know, with this image right here, you know, I could tell it bothered a lot of people. And they can make nobody who has participated in this before to feel bad, but it's just that anybody who's thinking of doing this for them not to do it, you know what I mean? And realize what it really is, you know, from this image right here. So, without further ado, we're just going to dive right in to the scripts and, you know, and just show you where this stuff really comes from. Because they make babies seem like they're inconvenient. But the, 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 the Most High's first commandment to us was this, to be fruitful and multiply. So Genesis 1 and 27, so the Most High created man in his own image. In his image, the Most High created he him. Male and female created he them. And the Most High blessed them. And the Most High said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. See that? That moveth upon the earth. So be fruitful and multiply. Now, let's see. What we keep in this? This is Exodus. This is the first form of the birth control. Exodus 1 and 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful. See, they was keeping it. They were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceeding mighty. And the land was filled with them. This one in Egypt before Moses is born. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Least they multiply and come and pass, that when there falleth out any war, they join also our enemies and fight against us and get them up out of the land. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasured cities, Python and Ramses. Uh, built the cities, just like we had did in America and every other, everywhere else that we've been enslaved in. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasured cities, Pithom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. So they beat them and doing all types of things, and we still was multiplying. Same as our captivity now. But they got slick on us. We're going to show you that. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of the ones Shipha and the name of the other poor. And he said, When do you, when do the office of a midwife of the Hebrew women see, see them upon the stools? If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then shall, she shall live. So even back then, they were still 
trying to get rid of the male children. Even back then, they were still doing that. Just as they do today. Get rid of all the boys. Let me go back. Uh, Exodus 1 and 17. But the midwives feared the Most High and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men children alive. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have you did have ye done this thing? Have you saved the men children alive? Have you saved the men children alive? And the midwife said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are delivered. Earth, delivered her, the midwives come and end unto them. Therefore the Most High dealt with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared the Most High, that he made them houses. And Pharaoh charged all the people, saying, Every son that is born ye shall cast into the river, and every daughter shall ye save, shall save alive. Now, this again, in our captivity in Egypt, we were still multiplying and being fruitful, just like the Most High commanded. Now, we can go to another captivity. This is Babylonian captivity. Jeremiah 29 and 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel unto all that are carried away captive, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Take ye wives and beget sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons, and give your daughters husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there, and not diminished. You see that? Same thing. Fill the land. Multiply. Be fruitful and multiply, so that you don't diminish. So you'll be more in number. So... Now we're going to jump to the modern times. The things which have been is the things which shall be. And there's no new thing under the sun. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Now we're going to jump to modern times. And you get this lady, Margaret Sanger, I think that's her name. And she come along and create Planned Parenthood. She make you think that it, having a baby is, a, um, is like a curse. If you're young. But if you read the scriptures, you know they was having babies at young ages. So, with this thing, this lady has had over 50 million of our Hebrew children murdered and killed through abortion. This is what she's done. And that's so. It's no new thing under the sun. Under the sun. You're going to go to the book of Jasher. Anybody want to know about the book of Jasher? If you've never heard of it before, go to uh, Joshua 10 and verse 13. And you'll see it. But we're going to go to the book of Jasher. This is chapter 2, verse 19 in the book of Jasher. It says, For in those days, the son of men began to transgress, trespass against the Most High, and to transgress the commandments which he had commanded to Adam to be fruitful, to be fruitful and multiply in the earth. So now, back then, they started transgressing the commandments of the Most High to be fruitful and multiply. So. Basically, if you're participating in getting yourself all hot and heavy, and you're participating in um, sleeping with a bunch of people, and you think it's cool, I can just, I can just um, rock a condom, and we don't have no kid, 